design can reduce the frictional load on the seal faces for effective and efficient mechanical sealing. This instructional video segment on mechanical seal balance will show how the reduction of hydraulic pressure can be accomplished through seal balance. Hydraulic pressure is generated in the stuffing box by the spinning impeller of the pump. This hydraulic pressure works in all directions equally within the stuffing box. The pressure we are going to be most concerned with, though, is the pressure that is applied axially in the direction of the shaft. This pressure will result in an axial force working to push the seal faces together. This force can be calculated by the formula force is equal to the pressure times the area that the pressure is working on. Let's take a closer look at these forces working on the seal face. We will first look at a basic unbalanced seal design consisting of a rotary face and a stationary face. For example, let us assume that we have 10 kilograms per centimeter squared of pressure in the stuffing box. This pressure is generating an axial force on the back of the rotary. This area is 2 square centimeters. Thus, the resulting closing force from this condition is 20 kilograms. Now, let's look at the opening force. We know there is hydraulic pressure 10 kilograms per centimeter squared at the outer diameter trying to push the seal faces open. At the inner diameter exposed to the atmosphere, there is zero gauge pressure. This is a condition of the pressure drop that occurs across the seal faces. We will assume that the pressure drop across the seal faces is linear. The opening force, as a result of the pressure drop, can be calculated by first finding the average pressure, which is 10 kilograms per centimeter squared plus zero, divided by two, equaling five kilograms per centimeter squared. This average pressure of 5 kilograms per centimeter squared times the 2 square centimeters of seal face area results in an opening force of 10 kilograms. With unbalanced seals, when comparing the closing force to the opening force, we find that regardless of the pressure in the stuffing box, the closing force is always at least two times the opening force. Now let's move to the concept of seal balance. Seal balance is a mechanical arrangement built into the seal. Balance reduces the amount of axial closing force working to keep the seal faces closed. There is only a slightly higher closing force than opening force. Seal balance reduces the closing force by changing the area that the stuffing box pressure is working on to close the seal faces. Balance, in effect, reduces the closing area with respect to the opening area. With this balanced seal, we have built a step into the shaft to reduce the closing area from 2 square centimeters to 1 square centimeter. A new closing force can be calculated with this new closing area. The new closing force is now only 10 kilograms. The opening force is the same as calculated in the previous example as both the pressure and area remain unchanged. Now we have 10 kilograms of closing force and 10 kilograms of opening force. The opening and closing forces have been completely balanced. If we compare the closing area to the opening area, we find a 50% ratio. This area ratio of 50% is called a 50-50 balance ratio. This means that 50% of the opening area is exposed to the closing force. For longer seal life, though, 
it is imperative that the faces remained closed at all times. We assume that there was a linear pressure drop across the seal faces. Therefore, a slightly higher closing force is needed. By slightly increasing the closing area, there will always be a higher closing force, but not to the point where there is excessive force closing the seal faces. The sealing industry commonly uses a 70-30 balance ratio, which means 70% of the seal face area is exposed to the closing force. The proper balance needed is built into the seal itself. Balance is usually built into the seal without the use of a stepped shaft or sleeve.